Hello, this is Joe from NBS Australia. This video is demonstrating how to use some of our reports to analyze and organize your content within NBS Chorus. So within this particular project, I'm gonna look into my architectural specification. Uh, once you've selected some content, either using the tick boxes here or remove a few that you don't wanna include in this instance, you have a selection there, which as you can see is 21 systems. What I want to discuss here is some of the actions. So publishing the selection is dealt with in a different video about actually outputting your specification. And the export summary sheet is like a materials and finishes schedule that you can, you can uh, create very easily. Um, in this particular video, it's exporting the submittals report and then the spec check report. So you have a few options of how to show this when it, uh, with the output. So for example here, export to the MBS format. That's going to basically create a Excel spreadsheet, which is um, particularly useful for analyzing where there's requests for a submission or a submittal. Um, and as you can see, when I open that up, it's listed all of the systems here where there's a request for a submission. So particularly useful for your contractor to understand where they have to actually produce something um, according to the clauses in your specification here. So it's gonna actually list, for example, here saying submissions are required for the system performance clause of this solvent born paint systems. Then the products clause as per the gloss finishes or the undercoats. So some good information there just to quickly punch out where you actually are requesting some information from them. Secondarily, I'll keep the same uh, selection and the spec check report. This is very handy just to see where you have kind of gaps in your spec at the moment or where there's an option to, um, to consolidate two products that are, are being read as the same. So again, another spreadsheet is punched out here. It's got all my products and systems listed down the left-hand side here. And the one uh, clause that the, the, the report is, is referring to is, is listed here. You can then see it's part of this system, so it shows you where it's going to be located. Um, and the information it's giving is, for example, if there's a broken link, so luckily I've got not only broken links here, whereby if I put in a, a clause, but then later um, taking it away without taking it away from the actual system. Um, a placeholder, where if I put something in um, as a placeholder, but I hadn't come back to it. And then there's empty values being shown for all of these uh, clauses here. So I've, it, it, this report is kind of showing where I need to go back and either put in some information there or to park it otherwise, so it's not going to be printed. And then finally, this one, consider consolidating, is very useful. So there's nothing to report on those, but the top two here, I can see for the bed base, fill and concrete, uh, so the aggregates, there's the first clause here, and then the type A has been created. So it's telling me here, that within this small unit bound paving system, which I'll click onto, handily it's a live link, these two clauses um, are being read as identical and I need to consider consolidating the two or taking one out or organizing whether I do actually want two, uh, two separate clauses there. So this will go straight into Chorus and go uh, straight to that actual system as well. So I can start to analyze what's happened there. That's the clause I want, the bed base, uh, sorry, the base bed and fill course aggregates. And then you can see it's the type A here as well. So as soon as I click onto that, it's going to zoom me down to that particular clause. And because I've got nothing actually entered in there at the moment, and similarly nothing entered into the type A, the function is saying, well, you want to probably consolidate the two because they are identical. If I'm then going to put something in here and say, well, this is a particularly uh, different type of this aggregate, then that's going to be read as different and it wouldn't come up as considered consolidating. So two very handy, handy ways of analyzing your content there and um, checking, checking what you have in there as you, as you go along. Uh, this probably produces a few questions for you. So anything you'd need to need to ask or test with us, please get in touch. Thanks.